Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Daily Compliance News for August 28, 2021, the Hedonistic Altruism Edition. And we begin with that story by asking first, what is the question, or what is hedonistic altruism? Well, it's explained in the New York Times Corner Office feature this weekend, where Ethan Brown, the founder of and CEO of Beyond Meat, uh, talks about his moral and environmental priorities. He contends there are several benefits to consuming plant-based foods instead of animal meat. Obviously, it leads to fewer greenhouse gas emissions, fewer natural resources being consumed, and better health. Um, And he also has a more personal reason. He would rather not be responsible for the death of animals. So it's a really interesting article. I would uh, encourage all of you to read it, certainly every compliance practitioner And it it puts a spin on morality that we do not often hear in the corporate world. But for me, the key is uh, you can be both moral and uh, a capitalist. So many people don't think you can, but I'm one that does. Next up, from uh, Dylan Tokar at the Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, he writes about companies penalizing employees for not having COVID vaccines, and specifically Delta Airlines, which um, uh, put a surcharge on health insurance premiums for employees who refuse to get uh, vaccinated. Now, obviously, this is a critical health issue for all employees, but Delta's response was based on data, and that data showed that individual uh, employees who were having to be hospitalized around COVID were averaging $50,000 $50,000 per hospital visit. So um, this is a, a somewhat uh, uh, complicated area under the Affordable Health Care Act and numerous anti-discrimination laws. Nevertheless, the basis for Delta's um, program shows that you can uh, have a surcharge if it's uh, rationally based and, of course, documented. So kudos to Delta for stepping up and penalizing those who are putting us all at risk by refusing to get vaccinated. Next up, a first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, City AM, uh, reports that KPMG are urging staff to use its whistleblower system to report concerns instead of going to the media. This is particularly after a leaked media recording uh, led to its former UK head, Bill Michael, um, stepping down. Uh, As a compliance professional, you can only just scratch your head at the idiocy of KPMG in this effort. They're not even considering why people are going to the press. Obviously, they're afraid of retaliation and um, the discrimination they'd receive if they report internally. It speaks to a culture that probably has a lot more problems. And when employees go to the press rather than report internally, the clear message is, we don't trust you. Why don't they trust them? Well, that's on KPMG management. And our final uh, story is uh, very unique in the corporate world as T-Mobile apologizes for the security breach uh, it recently had. Kudos. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.